So what we'll be doing now is taking the derivative of arc secant of x using a method called implicit differentiation. So we want d by dx of arc secant of x, otherwise known as secant inverse of x. Now this is normally provided in the tables that, uh, of all of the common derivatives that you'll need memorized in a calculus course, but here's the derivation if you happen to forget it or you're just curious for whatever reason. So, first thing we're going to do is take advantage of the fact that secant and arc secant are inverses of each other, that way we can isolate for x. So what we'll do is we will set y equal to arc secant of x, and essentially what we want is we want x all alone. So we will take the secant of both sides in order to cancel the arc secant out. So the secant of y is equal to the secant of arc secant of x. Now because these are inverses of each other, they cancel each other out. So secant of y will be equal to x. Now what we want to do here is we want to take the derivative of both sides with respect to x. So we take d by dx of secant of y and d by dx of x, d by dx of x. So this is going to be a y trapped within a secant function. So we will use the chain rule in order to differentiate this, where we will have our outer function, our inner function, and the derivative of each of them in order to differentiate using the chain rule. So our outer function will be secant of x, because we have a, phi, a y function trapped within a secant of x function. Our inner function will be y. Our f prime is the derivative of secant of x, which is secant of x times tangent of x. And our g prime is just the derivative of y, which is dy by dx, which is essentially what we want to isolate for at the end of this video. So if we wanted to take the derivative of secant of y, Essentially what we do is we would compose f prime of g, so wherever it is that we see an x here, we substitute, we substitute in our g, and then we multiply the entire expression by g prime. So this becomes secant of y times tangent of y, all multiplied by dy by dx. And then we want to differentiate the other side, which is just d by dx of x, and that's a simple one, it's just 1. So let's go ahead and rewrite the fact that secant of y is equal to x because we are going to need that later on. So our derivative of our left side is secant y tangent y dy by dx. Secant of y tangent of y times dy by dx is equal to the derivative of the other side, which was 1. So that will become 1. Now we want to isolate dy by dx, which will be our final answer. So we will take, we will divide both sides by secant y tangent y. So these will cancel each other out. dy by dx will be equal to dy by dx is equal to 1 over secant y times tangent of y. Now here we'll be constructing a triangle using this over here as we did in previous videos. I would invite you to go ahead and check out the uh, sine, cosine, and tangent videos for the triangular structure. It's a little more simple than this one here. So we have our triangle over here. All we're going to do is pop an angle y over here in the corner and we know that secant of y using this statement over here is going to be equal to x. Now the secant is going to be the hypotenuse divided by the, uh, the opposite portion over here since it's the inverse of the cosine. So the secant is going to be equal to x over 1. So we can pop an x over here and then a 1 over here. So we can solve for this side over here which is simply going to be uh, the square root of x squared minus 1 squared. Now using this information we can go ahead and figure out exactly what the secant of y and the tangent of y is. We already know that the secant of y is equal to x, so we have no problem with that, but let's go ahead and figure out what the tangent of y is. 
tangent of y is going to be the opposite over the adjacent. So the tangent of y is equal to the square root of x squared minus 1. So tangent of y is going to be equal to the square root of x squared minus 1. So essentially all we're going to be left with is we want to put things all back in terms of x. So we know that secant of y is equal to x, and we know that tangent of y is equal to the square root of x squared minus 1. So we will substitute both of these statements into our final answer. So dy by dx is going to be equal to 1 over, and then secant y is equal to x, and then tangent of y is the square root of x squared minus 1. And that is our derivative using implicit differentiation for secant, arc secant of x.